Welcome to this next session on adding floors. So in this session, we're going to actually add a floor to our project tree. And we do this by basically referencing in a background drawing, which we will ultimately trace to create the 3D model. We'll also take a look at managing these views and the display. So let's start by adding the ground floor of the building. So I'm going to right click on the building and I'm going to select the Add New Floor option. This brings up the Add Floor dialog, and I'm just going to browse to go find my floor file. So this is a 2D file that I'm basically going to use as a background. So that should open to my current folder under my project folder, the Energy Sim folder. And in there we have those background drawings. I have DGNs. Um, if you change this file extension, let's just say all files. There are also DWGs. You could use either one. So pick one of those. Essentially, they're the same background. So I'm going to select the lobby floor plan 00, the DGN file, and I'm going to select open. Now there could be multiple models in a background drawing. We just have the one, so it's going to be the lobby floor plan, but that's where we would select that. And then we can give that floor a name. That's the actual name that will show up in our project tree. And so we might want to simplify this and just call it lobby floor. And its level is the zero elevation. And then I'll select OK. And now we have a view of that floor plan in our 3D model. Now let's just take a couple of minutes to look at these views. We've got three views open right now. We've got the top view, the isometric view, and a front view. But we could rearrange that if we like. For instance, I'm going to close my front view here. Just select that red X. And then you can grab the edges of the views. I'm going to resize my window there. And I might want to make these a little more even here, size them the way I want. And then I could come up to the View tab. And here I have some view tools. And I'm going to select this one, Arrange, which will basically just use the arrangement that I have. You could, of course, cascade your views or tile them as well. And then across the view are a number of tools. For instance, the Fit View tool here would allow us to fit that view. But of course, we also have Zoom In and Out, which can also be done with the wheel. Just a, a scroll of the wheel will zoom in and out. Once you have your views set the way you like, you might want to come up here and do a Save Settings. That means the next time you open the file, the views will be set the way you've, you've left them here. That can also be done with a Control F on the keyboard. And finally, I want to take a couple of minutes to talk about display styles. So each view can be set to a different display style. And display styles are essentially just a collection of rendering overrides or other settings that can be applied to the view to determine how the geometry is displayed. Currently, these views are set to just a basic wireframe. But if we open the second pull down on the view, you'll see that there are a number of different display styles. And we've actually set one up for this training for Energy Sim, and it's called the example Energy Sim Modeling. So I'm going to select that display style, and you can see how that changes our view. We get the white background. It's a little more transparent. It's going to make it a little easier to see what we're doing when we're in the 3D model. And I'm going to change my ISO view to that as well. And then again, once I've made that change, I'm going to use the Control F on the keyboard to save those settings. So the next time I open the file, that will be all set up. So if we take a quick look back at our project tree, 
you'll see that we now have this first floor, the lobby floor, under our building. And in the next session, we'll start adding rooms to that floor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.